Hey Air Signs, it's me, Sagittarius Soltero. I'm going to do your guys' weekend vibes for this weekend, the 11th to the 13th, Friday through Sunday. I'm going to do Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's going to be time stamped down below. All right, it's just going to be an overview of the weekend, what's going on, what's all happening, where your energy is going to be at, all that good stuff. Make sure to like and subscribe, comment down below. Uh, make sure to watch for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Crosswatch. Okay, guys, make sure to like the video. Um, also, if you guys want to watch my friend Brandy, her channel is popping. So, her name is Brandy Spiritual Tarot. So, if you guys want to watch her, she's really nice. Also, my friend Sean, he made, um, it's not related to Tarot, but he made a YouTube as well. If you guys want to check him out, it's Sean, S-H-A-W-N-N-14. Um, he's one of my good friends from high school. So, he made a YouTube, and I want you guys to kind of take a look. He does kind of talk about things related to drinking and partying so if you guys are kind of not into that kind of stuff don't watch it but it's more just like funny like you know videos of like experiments of stuff that he's done and stuff like that so all right so i'm gonna go ahead guys and start with gemini at a minute and 10 seconds all right gemini let's go ahead and see what's going on this weekend start with some cards and then i'm going to clarify and then do the three card spread at the end and see if i get more of the same messages for you so gemini Okay, emotional withdrawal. Feeling disconnected from somebody emotionally. Eight of Cups. Let's get one more. Okay, positive movement forward, okay? So we have two eights here. So you guys are feeling disconnected from somebody physically and emotionally. On the bottom, we have deception and envy in reverse. So you guys are finding out something about somebody. Or somebody's just not pulling a joke on you anymore. Or pulling some kind of, you know, one over you that they used to. It's like you're kind of seeing somebody for how they are. Like your intuition's telling you how somebody is, and maybe you need to disconnect from them this weekend. So I'm gonna get another shuffle. All right, expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. Okay, and then we do have a, a personal issue reaches resolution, cancer energy. Okay, so something's gonna be re reaching resolution, expect powerful change. Okay, maybe this person was too much, and you had to disconnect from this person. Okay, maybe it's like helping you that they're not in your life. Okay, we do have courthouse. Okay, so you guys could be having the situation at the courthouse. Okay, we also have adjudication. Something about court. Okay. Also, we do have, yeah, courtship on the bottom. Maybe you guys are wanting to be engaged or marry somebody as well. Okay, because it could be something about like romantically moving a relationship more forward. Okay, we have too many. Eh. Okay, so we have Flirt, True Love, Release Your Ex, Reversed. Okay, so we have quite some romance cards here. Healing Family Issues on the bottom. Let's see, three signs or elements that you guys could be dealing with. Gemini. Too many cards flip over. Hold on. Sagittarius, Virgo, Capricorn. On the bottom, we do have Libra. All right, let's go ahead and clarify. So why is emotional withdrawal here? Okay, nine of cups reversed. You guys aren't feeling happy or fulfilled with whoever you're with emotionally. Five of pentacles. Realizing this weekend you need to walk away or need to distance yourself. Maybe even leave in general. Okay, positive movement forward reversed. Realizing you need to disconnect. Queen of wands reversed. Not feeling so passionate about this person anymore not feeling the same anymore like you once were ace of swords reverse maybe also feeling like you just don't know the truth on this person feeling like they're lying or they're just a you know manipulator they're not being honest so somebody's not being truthful here like maybe caught your person lying to you and you're just not really feeling this connection it's like after that you've kind of lost trust lost interest expect powerful change okay the chariot you guys can move forward move past this Okay, Eight of Swords. Even though it feels like it's draining, it's really heavy on you, you guys can move forward. It's just kind of hard right now. But for this weekend, it's going to be like an awakening where you're going to want to move forward. Okay, with the courthouse. Why is that here? Okay, the devil. Something toxic here. Strength in reverse. Something's kind of toxic in your life right now that you're trying to, you know, let go of. But it's really taking a toll on you. Maybe you guys got bad news at the court. Like, maybe you guys had court... Or you guys are having court and you guys are going to find out bad news. Or things that are going to be taken away from you. Or things that are just a really heavy tie. Like something you're tied to now for the rest of your life. Or a situation that you're just going to be tied to. It's going to be a burden. Alright. Then, then we have adjudication. 
Wheel of Fortune reverse. Something's not destined or not taking the tool like it should. Queen of Swords reverse. Something's gonna make you angry this weekend. Something's not working out the way you should, you, the way that it should, or you're not gonna be getting the good news like you thought you're going to about a situation. And it's gonna leave you feeling kind of mad. All right, true love. Okay, we do have the Three of Pentacles, wanting to work together with something here. Maybe with somebody, Nine of Pentacles, but also wanting your freedom. So yeah, maybe you have true love for somebody, but are you guys going to like play around and see other people? So I'm getting kind of the energy of, yeah, you love somebody, but it's like you're wanting to do your own thing and be around other people. Okay, because so we have the flirt energy. Release an X reversed. Okay, King of Pentacles. I feel like you still haven't released an X. You're still giving your time and energy to somebody here. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Or you still live with somebody, but you're not giving to the situation financially. You're just living. Maybe you're living with somebody or still giving somebody some kind of hope that you want to, you know, be long term with them. But you're still kind of playing around flirting or somebody could be doing this to you. Okay, five of cups. Maybe there's a lot of regrets about being flirty with somebody this weekend. Nine of wands reverse. But it's like you just went after. You didn't really think about it or think about the, co um, the consequences that it's going to cause somebody. And I feel like you're going to have a lot of regrets about flirting with somebody else. All right, why is Sagittarius here? The Emperor reverse. Okay, you could feel like a Sagittarius isn't interested in you anymore. They're not putting this work in that they once were. Six of Cups. You guys could have seen this person as a soulmate connection or somebody from your past. This person could have children as well. But you're feeling like this person's just not interested in you anymore. Or they're not giving to you anymore. Virgo. Knight of Wands reverse. Okay, things aren't moving. Yeah, you feel like there's a blockage with you and this person. Maybe even being like intimate with each other. There's some kind of blockage. And I feel like it's not a new person, but it's like a sense of you guys just aren't really feeling the same way intimately with this person anymore. Okay, or this it's like never a sense of it being in love. It's like it's just maybe like casual. Or it's gonna be casual, but there's not some kind of blockage of love here. Like you're not wanting to love this person. Okay, Capricorn. Okay, three of wands. You guys could be waiting on a Capricorn here. Page of wands reversed. Maybe you're wanting this person to reach out to you, but they still haven't. Okay, three of cups reversed. You and this person want to reconcile. But maybe you feel like this person's working on their self or you're working on yourself. Okay, that's what's stopping this reconciliation or you guys coming together. Okay, so it's a lot of weird energy, a lot of weird stuff. So you could be doing like Sagittarius, Capricorn, or a Virgo. So we have earth and fire energy. Let's see what else we have, Gemini, for you guys. Okay, so it's kind of heavy energy. I don't know. It's kind of not good. Um, could be dealing with an Aries, Capricorn, Leo, Cancer. And then I have um, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Capricorn. Okay, so let's go ahead and see a three-card spread. See what else comes out for the reading. If it's going to be tying into what you're you know kind of currently dealing with all right and i got new tarot cards today so i'm excited it's called tarot grand lux if you guys are interested they're on amazon they're like 20 something dollars they're not bad they're pretty reasonable and they're pretty nice size too i also got the everyday witch cards as well so i'm excited to use those the next time i do a reading i'm not sure what i'm gonna do another reading maybe tomorrow i don't know all right let's get three cards for gemini Okay, we got the judgment in reverse. Okay, eight of swords, yeah. And then with the five of coins in reverse. I feel like somebody's wanting to come back around here. Overall, we do have the three of swords. Some kind of heartbreak or wanting somebody to come back around. Wanting to, either somebody is coming back around and you're kind of stuck, not sure if you should give this person another chance. Maybe they did you wrong. Could be an earth sign, a Scorpio, or an air sign. Maybe this person did you wrong in the past. You're wondering whether or not you... This person deserves a second chance. Okay, judgment reversed. The temperance. You're just trying to be balanced this weekend and try to figure out what's the right thing to do. Okay, keen of swords reversed. You could still be kind of mad or detached from this person as well. Or just not wanting to get involved in the situation with this person. Okay, eight of swords. The knight of cups. You're stuck because this person wants to offer you some kind of love or maybe ask you out or something. Yeah, three of swords reverse, but you've already healed from this person or let them go. And now you're kind of like, shit, should I maybe give them a chance again or should I just let this go? Okay, with the five of pentacles reversed. Okay, with the nine of cups, this person at one point made you really happy. Or they're, they bring you happiness when you're around this person. 
that's why you're kind of in your head. You're like, man, I really love this person's company. I like being around them. Should I give this person another chance? Eight of Cups, or should I just walk away from this? No matter how much happiness and fulfillment I get from them, should I just let this go? It's all kind of like, am I making the right choice? What am I doing? Wheel of Fortune, is it destined? Is this going to go anywhere long term, or is this just going to be something fun? Should I invest my time into this, you know? So it's a lot of what ifs, you know? Like, should I, should I not? Can we do the Scorpio? Yeah, I got Scorpio and Sagittarius here strongly, so take what resonates, Gemini. All right, let's go ahead and do Libra at 1035. 1035 for Libra. All right, Libra, what's going on this weekend? Trapped in fear in reverse. Okay, so the Eight of Swords reverse. You're getting out of some mental situation here. Okay, just not letting things affect you. Shadow work. You're doing a lot of shadow work about yourself. Okay? We also have prosperity begins in reverse. Something's blocked from, be from beginning here is what I'm seeing. Or you're kind of ignoring something from beginning. Some new opportunity you're not ready for it to happen. Maybe you're just feeling like you're not ready yet for something new here. All right, so we do have, don't let pride get in your way. Hold your vision, okay? See clearly what you want here. Leo energy. We also have be bold and make the first move, okay? All right, let's see what kind of situations are happening for Libra. Okay, so we have change. There's some kind of change happening as well as journey. You guys could be moving or wanting to move. Okay, main male. You have some kind of main male in your life, whoever that might be. Message of concern. Somebody could be messaging you about some kind of concern they have. Maybe they feel like there's a lot of changes in your life and they're worried about you. Like, are you okay? You know, maybe a main male, like an ex-boyfriend or um, like a father, brother, somebody in your life that's important to you. Okay, separation. Could be a separation happening this weekend with you and somebody. Engagement. Maybe wanting to call it quits. Okay, separate after this engagement. Huh. Alright, what signs or elements could you guys be dealing with this weekend? We got Sagittarius, Virgo, and then Capricorn. On the bottom we have Leo. Alright, so let's see, Libra. So why is trapped in fear reverse? Four of Pentacles. Okay, really focusing on your money this week, okay? Or this weekend, sorry. With the Ten of Swords reverse, letting things go that affect you mentally. It's like you're holding on to your money or things very prosperous to you. And it's like you're not letting little things affect you losing your money. Like you don't want to lose your money over being depressed or upset. So you're just going to move on and heal here from a situation. Or just not let it affect you like it once did. Knowing your power, Queen of Wands. All right, shadow. Okay, ten of cups reverse. Wondering what's causing like some kind of breakup with you and somebody, or causing things not to be completed. Seven of swords reverse. Realizing here what the issue is and how you can uh, fix it this weekend. Realizing why you and somebody aren't able to be together, or not focusing on this relationship. Doing a lot of shadow work on how you can maybe fix this relationship or make it more complete. Okay, don't let pride get in your way. Ace of pentacles reversed. Like, don't block something that's meant to happen in your life because of fear. Okay, the Nine of Wands. You guys are fearing something. Or you feel like you've been through enough that you just don't want something new in your life. Okay, because we did have the prosperity begins again. So, something new is like hap could happen for you this weekend, but you're blocking it out out of because of other things happening in your life. You're just not wanting to take any more chances or any more disasters, basically. Hold your vision. The Emperor. Know your worth. Okay, know what you value. Okay, take action. Six of Pentacles. Really work on what you want here. What you think is deserving of your energy. Alright, why's change here? Knight of Pentacles reverse. Something's changed money-wise. Okay, the sun in reverse. It's leaving you feeling not optimistic. Could be delays with money as well. There's some kind of change. Or there's delays with money coming in. Okay, it's making you really unhappy. You're feeling like things are changing financially for you. Why's journey here? Okay, the Knight of Swords. Could be just wanting to communicate about going somewhere else, taking a vacation. Nine of Swords reverse. Somewhere 
taking some kind of trip that's going to make it where you're not in your head and you're just kind of blocking out whatever's happening in your life. So I feel like you guys are wanting to communicate or just travel somewhere else for a little while just to get your mind straight so you're not stressing about things going on in your life currently. All right, why is the main male here? Okay, six of swords reverse. Somebody you guys can't get away from that you once were married to or committed to. And there's some kind of main male in your life that's preventing you from moving on. Okay, it could be a Taurus or an air sign. All right, why is separation here? Separated from somebody. Three of swords. You're like upset that there was some separation with somebody here. That it broke your heart. If you guys aren't like engaged this person, you guys could be engaged or married right now. But upset about somebody else from the past that you're separated from. Okay, four of wands. Maybe you've seen this person as someone you could marry or be with the rest of your life. And it's like you're heartbroken that the separation happened. Because maybe you've seen them living in your life for a long time. Sagittarius. Okay, eight of, seven of pentacles. Really wanting to focus on putting the work into something. Queen of cups. Having a lot of love for somebody. Really wanting to invest into somebody here. Virgo energy. With the justice. Wanting to make something balanced here with the Virgo. Okay, the hermit, going from within, doing a lot of shadow work, realizing that you need to make something right with a Virgo in your life. Okay, or just wanting things to be fair in general. Capricorn. Okay, the Knight of Cups reversed. King of Cups reversed. And the Tower. Having a lot of, like, feeling like you just don't have this feeling for this person anymore. Or you just don't really care about them romantically anymore. And all of a sudden, maybe somebody was hard for you to let go of, but you're just kind of changing... How you feel about this person just not feeling romantically about them anymore or like I don't really care about this person anymore romantically chair it reverse not wanting to move forward with somebody anymore okay so let's see what other signs these could be dealing with and then I'll get your three cards spread for the weekend so we have Capricorn Sagittarius and Virgo here with this cards okay we also have Aries Scorpio Virgo, Libra, Taurus, Leo, Leo. Okay, we have basically a lot of the same signs in the reading. All right, let's go ahead and see what else is going on this weekend, if I get any new messages or if it's the same situation. All right, let's see if it's new messages or if it's the same that I told you. Let's get three shuffles for Libra. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands wanting to come out. So a new beginning here. Okay, we do have the Five of Coins. Okay, somebody from the past here with the Queen of Coins reversed. Maybe there's something long term that you wanted. Okay, you're still like upset about somebody leaving you from the past. Okay, feeling like you're withdrawn from somebody, wanting to have a new beginning. Somebody that you're very intimate with that you want to have a new beginning with, but feeling like it's delayed or you're not being appreciated. Overall, we have the Page of Swords. I feel like you guys are wanting to communicate with somebody from the past. Maybe somebody you were intimate with. Or somebody that you just felt really strongly about. Why is Ace of Wands here? Okay, Three of Pentacles. Wanting to work together here. Ace of Swords. Wanting to communicate. And kind of, if it's not like a real passionate thing, you're wanting to just, you still have feelings for this person and you want to make things work. Okay, you still want to put in the work. And maybe at least be friends or partnerships. Okay, have some kind of friendship out of it. Five of Pentacles. Okay, tower reversed. Somebody's avoiding you or avoiding saying their feelings with the king of cups. Okay, somebody's like ghosting you on purpose, I'm feeling like, or someone's ignoring you on purpose because they're avoiding how they feel. They don't want to say their feelings towards you. Or you could be doing this to somebody else. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Okay, three of wands. Okay, seven of swords. A sense of just, you know, feeling like right now is not the right time with something. Or you're just not feeling so sure of something here but I feel like you're still waiting you or somebody's still waiting on something okay but they feel like there's a lot of games somebody feels like there's games or something's not serious okay maybe they also somebody you or them feel like someone's not treating you like taking you seriously somebody's not seeing your value someone's kind of taking you for a fool okay and it's making you really impatient because like you're wanting to move forward and someone's not really wanting seeing your worth seeing what you value on the bottom nine of wands, someone could just be using you sexually and like knowing that you're like in love with them and they're just like kind of taking advantage of you. Okay. 
I don't know. So let's see, you guys could be dealing with here. Strongly we have Scorpio. Strongly, and then we have um, fire, earth, air, water. All right. Let's go ahead and do Aquarius at 20 minutes. Weekend vibes for Aquarius. That's my moon sign. So I feel like here lately I've been really, you know, resonating with you guys more. All right, Aquarius, what's going on this weekend? Weekend vibes for Aquarius. Accelerated motion came out in the reverse. Thank you. Uh, material spiritual prosperity. Stand your ground on the bottom. Thanks, babe. And this came out in the upright. So, or no, it came out in the reverse. Accelerated motion came out in the reverse. It's okay. I'm just going to finish this. So it's like you're really wanting to focus on your material and spiritual prosperity. Someone's blocked with somebody communication-wise or physically. But I feel like you're just wanting to focus on yourself. The answers you need are coming, okay? Gemini energy. Why somebody's not communicating with you or why there's a blockage, okay? Be bold to make the first move. Maybe you want to get an answer out of somebody. Maybe they're not coming towards you. You're really standing your ground, really wanting to fight for them. And they're just not coming towards you in any way. Things are disconnected. So maybe you're wanting to find out more answers. Okay, Aquarius, so let's see. Okay, expectation. Maybe you kind of expect a lot from somebody here. And it's kind of making me mad things aren't really working out. Okay, privileged lady. Maybe you guys are used to having things kind of privileged or having things come easier. Now you're kind of having higher regards on a situation. And it's making you mad like that somebody's not coming towards you. You're so used to people chasing you or so used to being like real privileged, having high expectations of people. Main male. You guys could be focusing on a main male or there is a main male in your life. Like I said, I get an energy of you guys just kind of upset that somebody's not really coming towards you like you thought they were going to. And you want to know why you and this person aren't talking. Okay? But you're having trust with the situation this weekend that everything will be okay. Free yourself. Stay optimistic. So free yourself from maybe any negativity. Alright? That could be it as well. Let's see signs you could be dealing with. We have a, another Aquarius here. Okay, we have Taurus and Gemini. On the bottom, we have Fire. Okay, Aries, we have Sag. All right, so let's go ahead and see why is there material prosperity, spiritual prosperity. Okay, Page of Swords, something's coming in for you. Some kind of communication from somebody, maybe offering you something here. Ace of Wands could be getting some kind of message from somebody also about intimacy as well someone could be wanting to be intimate with you this weekend okay and it's like you're trying to focus on yourself but they want to i don't know let me see accelerated motion reverse four of swords i feel like someone has taken a break on communicating two of cups but they still feel the same way they're really strongly attached to you but they need to kind of take a break or kind of step back okay you could be getting communication from somebody new here wanting to have intimacy with you or somebody really driven to you giving you some kind of new passion here or it could be a new passionate thing it doesn't have to be you know intimate it could be just some kind of new beginning here okay the answers you need are coming temperance reverse i feel like you've been in your head about something here and you just don't know under, you don't know or understand why something's happening the way it is page of cups reverse why someone's not coming towards you romantically why you're not getting an apology from somebody like you deserve to okay expectation Hand me in reverse the nine of swords. Okay, so you guys are stuck. You, you're upset because you feel like you deserve. The perspective is like you feel like you deserve something more from somebody than what they're giving you. And it's upsetting you that they're not. And that you're coming to realization this person's not giving you anything. Privileged lady. Ace of pentacles, okay? Maybe you guys always have new opportunities. There's always a new opportunity for you. A new door opening. Three of wands reverse. After you guys close out another door or shut something behind, there's always a new opportunity. Maybe people feel like you're privileged and kind of jealous of you this weekend. Feel like you always have it good. You always have new opportunities. When you give up on somebody else, something new comes in. Okay, there could be people just really jealous about you this weekend. Really mad that you seem like you have everything so easy. Okay? With trust. Ace of swords reversed. Okay, there's something here you're still not knowing about, but you're trying to have trust but there's still a lot that hasn't been disclosed to you or isn't disclosed to you this weekend. Eight of Wands. I feel like somebody is wanting to communicate and that is making your trust for the situation a little bit better. But it's not still truthful conversation. It's just 
you know, reaching out, but they're not being 100% transparent or honest here. Why is Aquarius here? Four of Cups, okay? Feeling like you're rejected by somebody here. Magician Reverse. Like, you don't have the upper hand. Like, somebody else is rejecting you or taken away from you in some way. Like, you don't feel like you are powerful enough to figure something out. Like, you feel like you're being rejected or somebody has taken something from you, okay? Or somebody is manipulating you and you don't feel strong enough to deal with the situation. Okay, why is Taurus energy here? Queen of Pentacles reversed. Okay, Five of Swords. This Taurus doesn't make you feel appreciated. You don't feel valued by this person. And it's like this person plays a lot of mental games or mind games with you. Kind of get in your head and make you feel like you're not worthy. Okay, this person is not valuing you. Why is Gemini here? Okay, Seven of Pentacles reversed in the sun. Okay, try not to, try to see this from a situation that feels like you've wasted your time or you are wasting your time here. You're trying to be optimistic about it and say, okay, well... How can I get through this? How can I, you know, fix a situation that I've invested so much time into for nothing? Okay, realizing maybe you guys invested a lot in this situation that's not working. Okay, or there's just a sense of, you know, how do I go from here? You know, could we deal with another, with a Gemini? We have Gemini twice, Aquarius and Taurus. We also have Leo. Okay, we have Gemini again. A lot of Gemini energy, Pisces, Sag. Okay. All right, let's go into a three card spread for Aquarius and see here. What else can I get in the reading for you guys? Is there any new messages or is it the same old that I've been giving in this reading? Let's see if there's any new messages. Let's get two more shuffles. Then I'll get three side shuffles. All right, let's get one more and then three more shuffles. All right, so we have the Ace of Wands reversed. Okay, Six of Swords reversed. Okay, the Six of Wands. Overall energy this weekend, we have the High Priestess reversed. I feel like something's coming out towards you, okay? Something's being revealed. Something you're not able to move away from, okay? I feel like you're still wanting to fight for something, or there's something here that you're still, you know, wanting to, you know, deal with here. But something's kind of being blocked. Or it's like either you're dealing with something that's blocked or you're dealing with somebody that's not new. Okay? Like it's I think the situation that you want to have success with. Somebody you're not able to walk away from or get, you know, past. Okay? Ace of Wands reversed. Okay? Ace of Pentacles reversed. Alright, Two of Pentacles. It's like you're really juggling out your opportunities this week. Juggling out your decision. Seeing if you're doing the right thing by blocking something out or not being open to something new. Okay, it's like you're giving somebody a benefit of the doubt if you should be with them or not. Six of Swords reversed. Okay, the Knight of Wands reversed. Okay, Eight of Cups reversed. You can't emotionally walk away from this person, but I feel like you're not really doing much to get towards them either. You're kind of the stagnant energy of not being able to let go and not move on. Okay, I don't know if this person's purposely doing this to you, making you feel like you have to be in your head and stuck on them. But it's like you can't let this person go, but you're still not going towards them either. Something is being delayed, okay? I feel like you're not wanting to give to this person's games. If they were all about sex, okay, I feel like you're just not wanting to deal with it. Because you realize that there's no actual success or opportunity that's going to be from this, okay? Six of Wands. I feel like you're wanting to be successful, okay? With the Nine of Cups. Just be genuinely happy this weekend. Choose the right thing. Four of Pentacles reverse. Let something go that's not moving towards you or something that's making you delayed. Okay? Because I feel like you are having a lot of build up, you know, energy that's just been stagnant that's not really moving anywhere. With the Page of Cups. Alright, somebody is trying to offer you an apology, but I feel like you're not going to want to talk to them. Or there's a lack of communication. Alright, somebody's not wanting to actually message the person back. Because I feel like there's just a lot. Like, you're not wanting to give to someone's game anymore. But you're kind of weighing out, like, whether or not you should. But it's like, you know that you shouldn't. Maybe you feel like all this person cares about is intimacy. And they don't really care about being with you or giving you anything stable or long-term. Okay? Could be dealing with, we have water, strongly, fire, earth. Okay? And a little air here. Alright, Aquarius. Hope you guys enjoy the reading. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.